Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to talk about Open VAS. It stands for Open Vulnerability Assessment Scanner. It is an open source, full featured vulnerability scanner. It includes authenticated as well as unauthenticated testing. It has a powerful internal programming language to implement any type of vulnerability tests. So, for the installation, the first step we followed was to set up Kali Linux on VMware Workstation. The second is to install OpenVAS. The following list of commands will help you install GVM. GVM is basically Greenbone Vulnerability Manager and OpenVS is the scanner component of GVM. So installing GVM will let you use OpenVS as well. GVM dash setup command will let you start the setup after installation. The create user command will help you create a user to log on to the GVM interface. GVM dash check dash setup command will check for any errors during the setup process. GVM dash start and GVM dash stop commands can be used to start and stop the service. As a test scenario, we have installed a vulnerable machine named Metasploitable 2 on VMware Workstation. To be able to scan that machine, uh, we need to put it on our network. So trying to ping that machine. The successful ping shows that the Metasploitable 2 VM is on our network. Now, uh, starting off with the first step of pen testing, which is enumeration, uh, it is to discover hosts using it first for the TCP ports. As you can see, we have got a list of all the services like FTP, SSH, Telnet, HTTP. So, this is the list of the ports which are open. Now we will run the same command for the UDP ports. So we have got only one port. As we have planned to go for an authenticated scan, we have to use SSH to get the machine credentials to provide it to the OpenVS tool. So using the SSH command, ssh h for help and we can see that we can use dash l option and provide a login name so the metasploitable machine has uh, by default login name of m a login name and uh, the password as msf admin so using that login name along with the uh, ip of the machine you can see that it has provided us with the uh, shell of the metasploitable machine now we can check the IP using the IP space A command and uh, we can verify that this is the machine's IP which is 150.150.25.57 Using the exit command to exit the Metasploitable 2 VM's shell Using authenticated testing is always a better option as uh, you can go deep into the machine and scan for all the vulnerabilities in the, inside the VM uh, but in an uh, unauthenticated scan where you do not have to provide the uh, login credentials to the OpenVS tool uh, it is just like a black box testing and it won't uh, you know scan for all the vulnerabilities in the system The main dashboard has four window panes. Number one, tasks by severity class, and it also shows tasks by status, the CVEs by creation time, and the network vulnerability tests by severity class. So first of all, we'll go into the scans option and uh, open the tasks. We can see that there is no task available at this time. Now we will create a new task and provide a name, uh, which is metasploitable to scan. As we can see that the machine, the, the target machine is Metasploitable 2. So we're going to add that as well and manually provide the IP of the machine. And uh, in the port list, we will provide all TCP and 100 UDP scans. 
and as we uh, as we have already mentioned that we will use the SSH credentials so we're going to add the credentials which are MSF admin password and uh, the login now we can see that minimum quality of detection is 80 percent uh, sorry the 70 percent and now the scan configuration is set to be full and fast now we can see that there is a list um, there, there's a task in the task list which is named as metasploitable to scan and its status is now new now we need to start it and we can see that this this is a start button and which is uh, grayed out and delete edit task and a lot of options are there we can always you know set any kind of you know editing that we want to do as an option to the task we can do that do that and this is the uh, option to export task to any other tool now uh, as we can see that we have started the task and the status is set to requested and now it is queued so it's running now you can see it is just zero percent and uh, the information says that this is the target target name is there scanner is provided here and into the report section we can see that you know the window panes are uh, now being populated So we have opened the reports tab here under the results section and the host section we can see that there is no host available whenever you know your um, scan is taking time you can always come over here and uh, check for any hosts that are being found during the scan under the asset section we can see that uh, the host list is there tls certificates are there uh, so the resilience tab uh, provides us with the compliance and the policies and the standards that uh, this tool follows and checks for and you know the audit is also there so we can we need to set uh, an audit for the uh, for any machine as well using this pane So the SIC info provides all of the NVT, CVE list and CPEs list and for all the ov overall definitions that this tool follows, the certifications and the advisories it follows. Moving on to the configuration list here, you can configure your hosts, your scans. So these are the versions, you know, the latest updated versions for all the NVTs, CAP and CERT list. So we are using Greenbone Security Assistant with the version 21.4.2 here. Moving back to the dashboard and the scan. We can see that one host is detected, which is our Metasploitable 2 machine because it shows its IP. And uh, a low impact vulnerability has been found named TCP timestamps. And the summary provides the detection result, the detection method used, and the impact. And we can see that the quality of detection is 80%. Twenty-nine logs have also been found. Now we can see that the status is set to done and the panes have populated with the high severity impact of vulnerabilities and we can see that a total of 57 high impact vulnerabilities, 104 medium and 137 logs have been found. So we can see that under the host section operating system Ubuntu has been found 20 ports have been found 47 apps and it says that it is an authenticated scan and a total of 169 vulnerabilities have been found and uh, the highest score is 10 which is high severity impact so this is the list of the ports all of the open ports and we can see that most of them which have high impact are from TCP 
and then some of them are uh, having a medium severity level these are mixed and this is the the application cpe list Under the applications tab, we can see the list of application CPEs. Operating system shows the running operating system under the uh, VM machine. CVE list is there. Under the CVSS section, it is basically the common vulnerability scoring system. So it provides a score to the vulnerabilities found. The closed CVEs are those which have already been closed or patched up. So to download the report, we can always uh, set up a filter, you know, that uh, which of the vulnerabilities do you want in the report? And then after setting up, we can always set the format in which we want the report. So we have set here a PDF format. So we can see that this is our scan report. So it has um, the result overview section, host authenticated by the SSH and SMB protocol for the authenticated scan. The results per host are there, you know, the list of vulnerabilities is there. TCP vulnerabilities are set in another section. This is the summary, the impact impacts severity levels the references cvss scores and anything that you want to discover about them and it also provides references and you know guides to patch up these vulnerabilities so that's all from our side thank you